Welcome to my channel. As you saw, come on, dude. Okay, little creature wants to say hi. She needs a haircut. Oh my God, I forgot. I gotta make her an appointment. Okay, so today's video is going to be, as you just saw, I'm gonna open up this clip with like a hot, sweaty, like post-cardio picture of me. Um, this video is going to be about enhancing your cardio session and getting the most out of it. So thing, little things that you can do and add to really make sure you get a good sweat and then, I mean, we're using cardio to one, lose weight, lose fat, but also to tighten up. So your coach or your trainer or whatever will have you doing some cardio, but if you're just, if you're not performing it correctly, then you may not be getting the most for it, okay? So you may not be getting your best potential. Um, I, this is the thing. I turn the camera on, oh my God, and she goes scratching at the freaking door like she wants to go out. Um, so you may not be getting like the most calorie burn, the most sweat burn, whatever, um, that you could be getting if you were, I mean, you're already putting in the time, so why not just put in the rest of the effort and get, you know, 110% out of it. So, first things first, um, I do, I'm, on, I'm not in the prep right now, but I'm going to be competing in a few weeks not in a few weeks, in like 10 weeks or something. I don't know, I haven't even done the math. But um, I'm just coming off a show, so I'm cycling off cardio. Um, when I when I compete, I do low intensity cardio. I don't do a lot of it, and I usually do AM and PM. So AM fasted cardio, PM cardio post-workout. It's just what my coach has outlined for me. Your coach might tell you to do something completely different. There's no wrong or right way to do it, okay? Um, so morning cardio, this is kind of the I'll talk about how I do both, I guess. So for my morning cardio, I do it here. When I lived at home, I had a whole gym set up and I had a couple treadmills and stuff, so I was able to just like wake up and I really didn't give a shit like what I look like. So that's kind of like the first thing is that I don't care what I look like in the morning because no one's gonna see me. So here at the Catherine, they have a little gym downstairs and I go at four in the morning, no one's there. So no one ever really sees me, so I really don't care what I look like. Um, so first things first, when I wake up and I roll out of bed, the first thing I do is take a fat burner. And I try to change them up on a regular basis. I also try to cycle on and off of them. My favorite is the Royal Cardio Rush, and that's not really a fat burner, it's more of like a cardio pre-workout. So it is meant specifically to speed up your metabolism, to get you burning and sweating more calories. Um, it also keeps your metabolism rubbed up, so you're burning more calories throughout the day. Fat burners will do pretty much the same thing, only I believe that they, they have more like appetite suppressants and I think they kind of last a little longer rather than, than the cardio rush. Um, so pop that pill, take a powder, whatever it is you do. Um, I also take the Super HD, which is by Cellicor, and then the, there's a PE Science, I forget what it's called, like Alpha Mean or something like that, that I also take on a regular basis. And I just... I cycle everything around, you know. So Cardio Rush is my main go-to. That's the one that I absolutely love. Um, and sometimes I will take that later in the afternoon as well too. So pop that thing in. Then I harp on this and I tell you guys, and I even recommend this to all of my clients and when they finally get it, there's like a fly there just a second ago. When they finally get it, they, they love it. They love this product because it really, really works. Um, so the Ameline Skin Firming Lotion. This stuff, you rub it on your, like, I, I rub it on my abs and the back of my legs, um, and even sometimes the front of my legs, too. But it helps smooth, firm, and tone your skin, and then if you're applying it right before your cardio session, it's also going to, um, it's going to make you sweat more. So you're going to feel, I don't want to say it's like, I don't want to say tingle because people freak out and then they think it's not really like that. You literally feel like your legs are, like, burning calories. It's kind of weird. It's not... It doesn't feel uncomfortable, not in any way, shape, or form, but you feel it working, which is one of the things that I love about this stuff. And it really, really works, but it makes my legs sweat a lot. So, now, I go a little extreme. I think that if I'm doing cardio, like, I'm already there, I might as well be burning and like sweating as much as I possibly can. So, I suit up in the mornings. Plus, I don't really care what I look like. So I wear, and I don't always do this, but when I'm on prep, if I'm gonna be competing, I will do it. Or if you just need like that kickstart, you know, for weight loss or whatnot. But I wear neoprene pants. Um, these are like the longer shorts. I like to get the ones from Zagora because you can get like the all black ones where you can't really, 
they don't look too different than regular pants, but they come in colors too, so I've got some pink ones and stuff too. Um, so I have like full length ones, I have capri style, these are the long shorts, and I'll write down the links and stuff um, below. But Zagor is where I get these, they're always on sale, they're dirt cheap, um, definitely recommend these. Um, I've, I've done like a before and after, like two years ago I was like, this is really stupid, like I'm not wearing those nasty neoprene pants. And um, I finally decided to start doing it. And two weeks later, I put the pictures side by side and I was like, holy crap, I tightened up a lot. I was doing exactly the same things. The only thing I added was the pants. So I live and breathe by them for sure. Um, I don't wear these for PM cardio because I don't think it really makes a difference. So um, I don't, it's hard for me to sweat during cardio unless I'm doing super high intensity. So that's why I suit up. So I'll put these on. Then once I've applied my amylene lotion, kind of let that sit in and dry, massage it into my skin real good. Sometimes, and not always, um, because if you apply the amylene, I feel like your abs will get a good burn, you know, when you're doing cardio, but sometimes I go in and apply sweet sweat as well, which makes you sweat even more, but I don't feel that burn from the amylene, so I think the sweet sweat kind of takes away from it. So I don't always do the both. Um, but sweet sweat is cool. The only thing is that I only do this in the morning because you have to shower after this. It is like Vaseline. Basically, you're putting Vaseline on your, you can put it on your legs if you want to, but it's good stuff. It's just kind of nasty and, you know, leaves your skin all dirty. Amylene doesn't do that, so I prefer that. Plus, amylene is more of like a skin smoothing lotion and helps with cellulite. This really just makes you sweat. That's what this is for. Um, so once I've done that, then I will... And Sweet Sweat has the best brand of this. I wear, it's called a waist trimmer, but it's just a neoprene waistband. So I'll wrap that around. And you guys have seen me like take it on and off. I put it on all the time. So I will wrap it around. I've got my amylene. I've got my Sweet Sweat, if I do it that day. And then boom, boom, and just nice and tight. Okay? So that's kind of how I wear it. All right. So... Then, a lot of people are like, oh, I gotta put the fans on, I gotta like, it's freaking hot, I'm like sweating. Girl, you are there to freaking sweat. Like, the more you sweat, the more water you're, you're, the tighter you're gonna be, you know? Your metabolism will be more revved up. You'll find yourself even sweating after you're done with your cardio. And the fat burners and, and pre-workouts help with that too. But getting your body temperature, your core temperature up like that really helps you burn more fat even after your cardio session. So, in addition to that, I will always wear a hoodie. Always wear a hoodie. I want to be sweating. I go into the gym. They always have the fans turned on. I always turn them off. I want to sweat. And in the past, when like we lived to the house, um, one of the treadmills was in the garage, and Ashton would come in, and he'd be like, oh my god, it's so hot in here. And I'm like, it's okay. And he'd like start turning fans on. I'm like, stop it. Like, I'm trying to sweat, you know? So you're there. You're already doing it. If it's your fasted cardio, you're gonna shower after. I don't, so I don't do all of these things um, for my PM cardio because I don't usually shower at the gym. Usually I have to go back to work. So I don't like being absolutely disgustingly sweaty after that. Plus, I mean, I'm already seeing results the way I'm doing it. Why change it now? So that's kind of my fasted cardio AM stuff. Okay, so here's a big one. So PM cardio, I do it post-workout and so I'm already kind of getting a burn on. So once I do my cardio post-workout, I'm already, my metabolism's kind of going, my core temperature is kind of starting to come up, you know, I've got my heart rate is up. Allie, you're so silly. Um, so once I jump into my PM cardio, I'm gonna break a sweat a little faster. So one of the things that I think makes the most difference in cardio is, I see a lot of people at the gym, they're, they're putting in, it's more of like they're putting in their time. I don't know who you are. Um, they're just putting in the, the time, okay? You need to, don't just go through the motions, okay? When you're doing your cardio, for example, if with my clients and even with my coach, he's giving me cardio that's actually meant to like build muscle and tone my legs as well. So I'm when you get your cardio, it's not just fat loss. You need to target those glutes and those legs. If you're doing this, the revolving stair mill, push through your heels, bend over a bit so you're feeling it all in the back of your legs and your glutes. Um, I posted about um, the Cybex Arc Machine as well. 
bend over, push through the heels, and feel every single motion. Even with walking, I see people on their phone, they're holding on to the rail like this, like blah, blah, blah. I'm like, first of all, hold on to the rail and you're burning a lot less calories now, okay? Um, second of all, I know you're not pushing through your heels. When I walk, I'm sore the next day. Like my glutes and my hamstrings hurt the next day from walking at an incline. Why? Because I'm pushing through my heels, I'm squeezing my glutes with every single step. I'm making every cardio session count. I'm already there. Why, why just like, th why would I throw it all away, you know? I'm already putting in the time. So, if you're not seeing results, if you're doing your cardio, you know, cardio is also a big mental thing too. So if you're down, if you're not motivated, you're just not gonna get a good cardio session in, okay? So think about those things. Think about, am I going through the motions? I like to focus, first of all, I like to watch Netflix, which this will help enhance your cardio. Watching Netflix, watching YouTube. I hope you guys are watching my videos during your cardio. Yeah, I mean, right? Um, that keeps you distracted, but you need to also make sure you're still going through the motions correctly, you're still pushing hard on your cardio. So that's something to think about. So if you're thinking, okay, you know, I'm kind of hitting a plateau. Okay, first thought is, what's your cardio like? Are you really putting in max effort or are you just, you know, checking off 30 minutes, you're done, you're good, you did it, you did it, you know? Um, be honest with yourself. I also kind of use cardio as like a like a therapy session, okay? So I, I think about my goals, I think about, I put down to-do lists in my head. Um, if there's, if I'm currently trying to target like my hamstrings or my glutes or something like that, then the entire cardio session I'm thinking in my mind, like that mind muscle connection, I've just got to target this area. And then you find yourself working that area more next day, you're going to be sore. And what did you do? You just did cardio. So just some tips to keep in mind. I don't want to make this video too crazy long. I hope this really helps you guys out. Um, you know, it's just basic stuff, nothing too crazy. I'll make sure and put the links for all the stuff that um, I use below. And um, if you guys have questions, just leave comments down below. If you have any video suggestions, let me know. Um, please make sure to thumbs up this video. Let me know if you liked it, and I'll make more like it. And um, make sure and subscribe. Yeah, buddy, because you want to get those updates. Be like, hey, k Pass got a new video. Check it out. Anyway, thanks again guys for watching.